and welcome to this session on citation style. Whenever we think the legitimate ways to avoid plagiarism, most of the people talk about a solution and the solution is proper citation of the work which we are taking from someone else. You all are aware that there are different citation styles about which you will also read in your course. And the most common citation style in social sciences, in psychology, in education, in management and in many social scientific fields is APA style of citation. American Psychological Association which is also known as APA publish its publication manuals and in those manuals APA talks about various things including citation. The last APA manual was published in 2009 and recently in 2020 the seventh edition of APA style has been introduced. Now the question is that what is new in the seventh edition? Many new guidelines are there to address the quantitative, qualitative and mixed method research, articles, student papers, dissertations and thesis. This edition is introducing the concept of bias free languages, means we should use the language which is gender neutral, which is inclusive and which shows a respect to all. This edition is also talking about the mechanics of a style, for example, it has given you the ways how you will use the punctuation, the capitalization, the abbreviations, the numbers and the statistics. And in-text citation method is also simplified in this recent version. If you want to know details of 7th edition, you are advised to visit the apastyle.apa.org where you will find a lot of things which I am going to present in this lecture or in this session. These new guidelines are also talking about how to cite recording or unrecorded traditional knowledge, oral traditions of indigenous people, examples of paraphrasing are given which demonstrate how you can achieve the clear attribution without over citation. And this edition also gives you new guidance on how to format quotations from research participants. You will find that the presentation of digital object identifiers, DOIs and URLs have been standardized in the 7th edition. New formatting guidance are being provided for annotated bibliographies. And the emerging trends especially in the ICT era, the things like YouTube videos, PowerPoint slides, lecture notes, TED talks, social media posts, web pages, websites, how you are going to refer all these things. So these are certain new editions in the 7th edition of APA manual. But it follows the basic principles of citation and the basic principle of citation in American Psychological Association or APA manual is the author date citation system in which a brief in text citation directs reader to the full reference list entry. Each work cited must appear in the reference list and each work in the reference list must be cited in the text. Means there should be a mapping and matching of your references in your text as well as in your footnote or appendix. Either you are paraphrasing of someone's quotation or someone's work or you are giving the quotation into quotation marks. Both things are requiring citation. We have discussed about it in the discussion based on paraphrases also. Now comes to the citation. There are only two forms of citation and first is called parenthetical citation. For a parenthetical citation, it is advised in the manual that you should provide both the author and date in the parenthesis separated by comma. If the parenthetical citation comes at the end of the sentence, put the period or other ending punctuation after the closing parenthesis. The example is given at the bottom which I have taken from the apa.org. 
that promoting optical outcome is uh, in the face of stressful conditions is facilitated by strengthening internal and external strategies. Women at all 2010, after that the full stop is coming. So, full stop will not come at the end of the sentence and then you will cite the author, but you first cite the author and then you will put the full stop. So, this is a, a standardization in parenthetical citation. Similarly, if it is a narrative citation, you need to mention the author in the narrative of your paper followed by the date of parenthesis. For example, her great et al indoors coping strategy. So, her great et al 2018 indoors. So, the year is coming after her great et al. Or you can write according to a 2017 review by Burhan and Margolis. So, this is another way studied by Barron, Gutierrez and Stone and Stain. So, all these things are coming in such a way. How you are going to do the in-text citation, which is very important thing and many times we made certain errors due to negligence or not knowing about the technicalities that either we are doing the in-text citation properly or not. Guidelines are saying that the spelling of author's name and the publication date in the reference list entry match with those correspondence to the in-text citation. Cite only work that you have read and ideas that you have incorporated in your writing. Many times it has been observed that people cite a lot without knowing or reading them or without using them. Just for the sake of citation, people do citation which is not a good practice and APA discourage such practices. The works you cite may provide key background information, support or dispute your thesis and offer critical definitions and data. So, readers may find a long string of citation difficult to understand, especially if they are using assistive technologies such as screen readers. So, we should avoid a strong string of, a long string of citation. We should cite only those which are used, which are useful and which are meaningful. That's why it is suggested in the manual that you should include only those citations which are needed to support your immediate points. Try to cite as much as possible the primary sources because secondary sources are not as authentic as the primary sources. Authenticity of secondary sources cannot be established as easily as of primary sources. Whatever you are taking whatever you are using from someone else if it is not common knowledge you should cite it with the source you can cite the specific part of a source or you can give the detail sourcing also and if the source cannot be retrieved but you know these are not yours you should give the credit within the text now how you will do this in text citation if you are citing someone's work where only one or two authors are there so, you need to include the author's name in every citation. If you are using the same uh, work at three or four places in your work, you should write this. If there are three or more authors, then include only the first author's name with et al in every citation, even in the first citation. So, the year in the in-text citation should not vary from the year which you have mentioned in your reference list. It should be same. Use only the year in, in the in-text citation, even if reference list entry contains more specific things like date, month or day. Generally, when we use any newspaper article or any blog post, we use to give its complete citation along with the date and day at the reference list. But when you are citing it in the in-text, you can avoid the date and day, but you cannot avoid the year. If you do not able to trace that on which date this work has been published, then use n.t in the small letters in the in-text citation. If someone's work is accepted for the publication but it had not been published and only first draft is out and you are taking something from that, then you can use the word in press in the place of year. When you are repeating a citation, so the entire citation and do not write IBID as in APA style, IBID is not being used. Include author's name 
and the year in every parenthetical index citation. If you cite multiple works from the same author or authors, regardless of the publication year, include the date in every index citation to prevent ambiguity and each index citation must correspond to only one reference list entry. Do not include the suffix such as junior or senior in the in-text citation. For works with an unknown author, include the title and year of the publication in the in-text citation because you are not aware about the author of the work. This is an example that if, for example, there is one author in parenthetical citation, you will keep in the bracket Luna, 2020, but in narrative citation, it will be Luna then in bracket 2020. So, there is a change. Same is, is the case with the two authors, same is the case with the three authors. If the author or the institution is there, if the author is as an institution or group is there, then in first citation, the whole name should be used. For example, here it has been written National Institute of for Mental Health, NIMH 2020. And in the subsequent citation, you will write only its short form that is NIMH 2020. If it is without abbreviation, then you can use Stanford University 2020. This is just an example. Another thing which has been suggested in this manual is inclusive and bias free language. So, few changes have been suggested like the manual is promoting to reduce the bias against topics like gender, age, disability, racial and ethnic identity, sexual orientation and all. So, for example, uh, they are proposing that use they or their as the gender neutral pronoun. So, earlier we were writing like a researcher's career depend on how often he or she is cited. Now, you can write it that a researcher's career depends on how often they are cited. I have taken these examples from Scribber. Uh, instead of using adjective as noun to label a group of people, descriptive phrases are preferred. For example, initially you may write that, that the poor people in the country. Now, you will not write the poor, but you will write the people living in poverty. So, you have replaced the term. Instead of broad categories for the age range, you should use the accurate age. For example, people over 65 years old, earlier we were using such terminologies, but now we are writing it like people in the age range of 65 to 75 years old. It is also talking about certain fonts. Few fonts have been suggested that if you are using a sans serif fonts, means the fonts without edges, then you should prefer if you are using Calibri, it should be 11 point. If it is Arial, it should be 11 point. If it is Lucida Sense, then it can be 10 point. Similarly, if it is Serif font, then Times New Roman 12, Georgia 11 or Computer Modern 10, such fonts are suggested. Few paper setup things are, have also been suggested in the manual, especially when you are writing a paper or writing a thesis that double space is required, including the text page, abstract, heading, footnote, quotations, references, table and figure, title, note, appendices and they are suggesting that never add any extra line before or after heading or in between the paragraphs. So, they are suggesting that you prepare everything in the double space. For basic paper setup, you can have the margins 2.45 centimeter or 1 inch on all the sides means top, bottom, left and right. But if the institution, the journal or the instructor has given any specific format, you are advised to follow that. Every paragraph's first line should be intended by 0.5 inch. It should be hanging towards the text. You can use it either by tab key or by the paragraph formatting option available in your word processing program. You need to leave the remaining lines of the program left aligned. So, earlier we were having a habit to keep things justified, but now the manual is suggesting that do not use full justification of paragraph. Apply hanging intent of 5 inch to the reference list entries. Use the paragraph formatting features of your word processing programs to apply the hanging intent. Next, for basic paper setup paragraph, left alignment and other things which are not suggested to be intended is the first line of the abstract, label 2 or label 3 of the heading and table and figure number. These should not be intended. What things should be at the center? The paper title in the bold should be in the center. The affiliation to the institution should be at the center. The course name, number, instructor details should be at the center. The section labels can be at the center. The label 1 headings can be at the center and appendix labels can be at the center. Let us come 
on the citations how we can cite or what is the style which we follow while giving any citation or reference in american psychological association manual there are four common elements one is the author the person people or the group who is responsible for the work the date on which or when the work has been published or updated the title that is the name of the work and source where the work can be retrieved so what is digital object identifier about which the apa manual is talking it is basically a unique and permanent identifier of a document on the internet so if you are having a doi you can use to find the article in the web world where you can find the doi you can find the doi on the first page of an article or on the copyright page of the article or in the database record of the work if a work is having doi it should be included in the reference if it is not having then you go for its url so what is url uniform resource locator it is a work address which you will find in the web world in your address bar whenever you are opening any web page you find the address which is associated with that web page and that address is called uniform resource locator or url if the work is not having its doi then this url should be copied and pasted exactly in your reference list never add any period after the url because it may create some dysfunctionality earlier we were using a term retrieved from before a url but now it is suggested that it is it should not be used when you are writing a reference for the works without doi you should include the url there are few new changes before coming to how to refer or how to write the references of different things let me talk about few things like the publisher's location is no longer included in the reference list earlier there was a habit that when we were doing a reference after the name of the journal or the book we were writing the place where the publisher belongs so it is from the new delhi then you keep to write on new delhi or it is from new york then you was writing new york but now the new delhi or new york is not required only the name of the publisher is enough another change if the surnames and initials are there up to 20 authors then all 20 should be provided in the reference list earlier the limit was up to 7 if doi and url both are there or doi is in the url form then that label doi is not required you can copy and paste directly the doi so you need not to write doi with the url there is no need to write retrieved from and the website's name should be included and the web page titles are italicized there are certain new changes for the ebooks also like earlier we were writing that from which version we are using the ebook if it is a kindle version then we were saying it is a kindle version so now these things are not required you include only the name of the publisher not the version a new change has been emerged at the podcast episode or a tv series so uh, the clear guidelines have been provided to include the contributors other than authors and editors when you are citing a podcast episode the host of the episode should be included for a tv series episode in place of host you can write the name of the writer and director of that episode how to organize your reference list it is very important for you to know how to organize your reference list you should begin the reference list on a new page after the text place the section label references in bold at the top of the page and centered arrange all the entries in the reference list in alphabetical order by the surname of the first author followed by the initials of the author's name given always give a double space and apply a hanging indent of 0.5 inch to each reference list entry for the first line here are few examples you can see on the slide that for example if patel sn has been placed at six places what will be the sequence the not dated will come first if there are two with different years then it will come 2016 will come first and 2020 will go second if there are two of the same year then whatever has been published earlier may be marked with the 
small letter a and the thing which has been published in the same year later can be marked with b if something in press it should come at the last if one author is there and the same author is having a publication with another author in the reference list the single author will come first and the author with someone else will come at the second if the authors are same then the sequence will be the year if the first author is same but other authors are different then the other author's surname will be used for fixing the alphabetical order here are few abbreviations which are being used in references like for addition we write ed for revised addition we like reb ed for second edition we write second ed for editor or editors we write ed or eds so in the slide you can see that a lot of abbreviations have been suggested which are being used while you are referring let's see some common examples at the end if it is a journal article then the name of the first author and the name of the second author the year the title of the paper the title of the journal now see the title of the journal and its year means the issue they will be italic but the volume will not be italic the page numbers will not be italic and the doi will not be italic and remember now we are not using p or pp before the page number only we are mentioning the page numbers without mention p or pp in the second example you can see that the u doi is not there so if doi is not there then you should give the url if it is a e paper if it is a magazine or newspaper article without doi then and from a print version then you need to write the name of the author year the title of the paper the name of the newspaper or magazine which volume which one and the page number if there is no page number you can avoid it if there are more authors then at least 20 authors surname should be there in the reference list if a journal or article in press and then everything will remain same except the volume and issue will not be there and in bracket in the place of year you will write in press which you can see in the example of pauchar t if it is a magazine article then remember it also should be associated with the date so only 2019 will not work you need to mention january 4 if it is a blog post then who has written the blog in which year on what date then the title of the article then the title of the blog and its url even if someone has commented if someone has commented on a blog post and you find that the comment should be used the comment which has been written by a reader of the blog you want to refer that then what you will write who has commented for example here ks in nj so means ks has been commented on a post in nj on which date what was the comment on what article then where it was posted and its url in case of books it is very easy author title of the book where it has been published and its doi but here in case of book the title of the book should be in the italics the title of the book should be in the italics if it is a book chapter then first you will write the details of the authors of the chapter then the title of the chapter then the editors of the book now the difference is that when you are mentioning the author of the chapter you are mentioning the last name or surname first but when you are mentioning it as the editor you are mentioning the first name followed by the last or surname so please keep this in mind if it is a wikipedia entry it should also be with the date because you may not find the author if it is a online dictionary sometime you will not find the date so you can name the dictionary for example here it is merriam webster then the not dated then the term which whose definition you have seen then where have you seen on which date you have taken the report by a government agency or other organizations then the name of the agency will come here for example australia government productivity commission has come first then the year then the title if it is a report by an individual or few authors to a government agency then first the name of the authors will come then the name of the agency will appear after the title 
if it is a conference presentation date should be associated along with the year if it is conference proceeding date may not required you only require the year but here the proceedings title should be in the italics if it is unpublished dissertation or thesis it should be written as unpublished doctoral dissertation if it is from a database then the name of the database should be mentioned if you are quoting a film its director should be referred if it is a tv series its executive producer should be referred if it is a episode its writer and director both should be preferred so director and writer in case of episode of a tv show in case of tv series its executive producer and in case of film its director should be referred now a lot of moocs are there many times we find things uh, better at the moocs so when you are going to cite about any mooc or any online course who is offering the course so the name of the course coordinator should come then if it is not dated then the title of the mooc then the platform on which the mooc is available followed by the url but if it is not the whole mooc you are just going to refer a single lecture in an online course or mooc then you should first write the name of the person who has given that lecture followed by the year then title of the lecture then in bracket it is mooc lecture then in which course so the name of the course will come second here with the url if it is a youtube video then same the organization name or the institution name or the individual name then the date on which the youtube video has been uploaded its title followed by its url if it is a youtube channel channel may not have a date but you need to write the link of the channel and the date on which you have retrieved it but never give the term retrieved from if it is a mobile app who has developed the app the year then the title of the app and the its address in the app store if it is a itunes ad store or it is your google app store whatever app store is there its url should be given so with this what i tried to tell you i tried to tell you only one citation style that is american psychological association citation style you may find that for different disciplines different types of citation styles have been suggested for example for languages generally we prefer mls style for computer sciences we prefer ieee style so whatever style is there there is always a style guide which is associated with a particular discipline my suggestion is that next time when you are going to cite or prepare your research work cite it properly follow the citation guidelines suggested by either the editor of your journal or by the association which suggest the guidelines for your particular discipline hope with this video you will be able to do justice with the citation in your research work and make it more authentic and acceptable thank you very much